In this video, we'll show you how to create custom forms with advanced user input elements. We'll add these forms to a website we created for a design school. These forms will allow students to submit their artwork during the semester for exhibitions. We'll also store and manage the information we gather from these forms in our database collections. To use Wix code on any site, enable Developer Tools. Before we create a form, we need a database collection to store the information we gather. To add a database collection, go to the Site Structure sidebar on the left. Hover on Database at the bottom and then click the Add icon. Click New Collection. Give the collection a name, like Exhibitions. Now, set roles and permissions for the database collection. Decide who can add and view content in the collection. For this example, we'll choose Form Input. This way, anyone could submit data to this collection. Then, Create Collection. We'll add fields for the input elements that will be used in our student submission form. To add a new field, click Add Field. Under Field Name, give it a title like Student Name. Next, choose the field type. In this example, our field is gathering student names. So select Text and click Add. Continue to add fields for other input elements that will appear in the form, like program, course, semester, artwork title, artwork, and description. The exhibitions collection is now set up. We're ready to start building our custom form. We want to create a form so students can upload their artwork. To start, we'll need to add a new page to our site. In the editor, go to the Pages menu, click Add Page, and select Page. Give the new page a name, like Student Area, and click Done. Now, we can start designing our form. Click Add, Text, and drag a text box onto the page. Give the form a title so visitors know what this page is about. Next, we will add elements, which allow students to input their information. Click Add and User Input. Scroll down to see all of the input options, like radio buttons, drop downs, text boxes, date pickers, and more. We'll start with a text input to collect student names. Drag and drop it onto the page and customize. Click Settings. We have a few types to choose from, like number, email, and more. We'll choose text here, since we want people to enter only text in this field. And under placeholder text, we'll type name. Under general settings, set the checkbox to required, meaning students must complete this field. Now, we'll add a drop-down element for program, so students can specify where they are submitting their artwork. Click the settings icon and change the placeholder text to program. In the drop-down element, change the names of each item. Click Manage Items. Next to each item, click on the icon. Select Rename and give it a custom name, like Graphic Design. This is what will appear in the form. We also need to edit the value of each item. We can assign any value to the item and the value will appear in the database collection. Next to each item, click on the icon and select Edit Value. In this example, we'll edit the value to Graphic Design, so it will appear with that name in the Program field in our database collection. We'll do this for every item in our list. Let's continue to set up other elements in our form in the same way. Now, we need a section for students to upload their artwork. Go to Add, User Input, and select an Upload button. Click Manage Upload button. Under Supported File Type, choose Image. Finally, add a text box so students can describe their artwork. 
we'll change the placeholder text to give students directions on what to include in their description. Now, click Preview to see how the form will appear on the site. Now, we need to connect our database collection to the student artwork submission form we just created. We do that through a dataset component, which connects the elements in this page with our database collection. To add a dataset to our web page, click Add and select Database. Choose the Add icon next to Dataset. The dataset component will appear on the page, but our site visitors won't be able to see it on our live website. We can move this component anywhere on the page. Click on the dataset and select Manage Dataset. Click the drop down button next to connect a collection. We'll choose a collection to connect the student submission form to, in this example, Exhibitions. Change the mode to Write Only so students can submit their own content. Now we can easily connect every element from the form to a field in the database collection. Select an element and click on the Connect to Data icon. The exhibition's dataset will automatically be selected because it's the only dataset we have for this page. Next, connect each input element in the form to its field in the database collection. Connect all of the input elements in the same way. The last thing we need to do is add a submit button to our form. The submit button will send everything to the database collection. In the editor, click add. Choose a button and drag and drop it onto the page. Click on the button and change text to submit. Now, select connect to data. Under link connects to, select submit. Next, we need to consider where to send visitors after they complete the form. In the When Successful Navigate To section, click the drop-down and choose a link. Select the page to link to. In this example, we'll choose a thank you page that we created in advance in the editor. Click Done. The form is ready and we'll save it. With everything in place, let's test the form to make sure the data submits to our exhibitions collection. Click Preview. Now fill out the form and click Submit. We see it worked since we go directly to the thank you page. Click back to Editor to view the information submitted in the database collection. In the Site Structure sidebar, go to the database and select Exhibitions. As we can see, the information was collected. We're working on the Exhibitions collection in the Sandbox database. Content here is visible only in the Wix editor and preview mode. When students submit their data, it will appear in the live database only. Let's go to the exhibitions collection in the live database to see what students submitted. In order for this collection to appear in the live database, we have to first publish the site. When we publish, the database collection will be available in the live database. Now, let's go to the Live Database to view student submissions. We can access the Live Database from here, Edit Live Database, or from the Site Dashboard by clicking on Site, My Dashboard, and then to the Wix Database app. Here we can see all of our collections. Let's view the Exhibitions collection. We see all of our student submissions. We've completed building our form and the steps needed to collect student data. Now you're ready. This video is always here, so come back and watch again for more help. You can also visit our resource page for tutorials, articles, example code, and more.